Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody, and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss the um, uh, particulars of the um, uh, brushless motors. Uh, that are being used these days on the Teslas and um, and all of the electric vehicles on the market. As you can see on screen, uh, this particular motor it's for a um, a Fiat 500 electric. They're not that, that common in the U.S., uh, but it, but they are nevertheless. You know, they are sold uh, widely sold in uh, in California and in many other states and um, and around the world. And so, it, as you can see, it's, it's just an, an electric motor. It's a brushless electric motor. I'm going to explain that a little bit later on. Coupled to a very simple, uh, it's like a transfer case type uh, of transmission. So it's no big deal. There's no, it's nothing um, on top of the transmission. You can probably see a, a, a small little tiny motor at uh, the lower right hand uh, of the uh, on screen. And that's the parking motor. It's, it's a parking sprocket in there. These motors operate at high voltage, um, as you've probably heard uh, already. Uh, so be careful if, if you're working on any of these um, uh, of, of these motors. So use uh, use care and uh, use the safety uh, precautions to disconnect the battery before you uh, start. If you try to disassemble one of these guys, the battery voltage varies depending on the car that you're working on or that you have. Uh, it could be uh, 120 volts. It could be uh, uh, 300 and, uh, and some volts. I haven't seen anything yet that that's higher than that, but I've seen any. Um, it could be 244 volts as well. So again, and this is DC. So it's uh, uh, it all depends on the manufacturer and what they try to uh, what they decided to use. And before before we go on the explanation of how these motors work, uh, this is uh, this um, a photo here that you can s you can actually see the motor. Uh, coupled to the transmission, um, you can see the transmission side here, but but it's there, uh, and you also see an orange um, little motor uh, the connector uh, on the top of the motor, and that connector is for the high voltage. So anything orange is high voltage. So beware of the orange color on these cars. Now, very quickly, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and and take a peek at the uh, interactive wiring diagram. Uh, that we have uh, for the Fiat 500 and just uh, for sake of, of, of uh, explanation. Now, as you can see on screen, uh, if you look carefully, this is a three phase and this is the center uh, on the diagram. The blue uh, component in, in the middle, that's the uh, the motor itself. And you have, you see the three red uh, wires going to the motor. Those are the high uh, voltage wires uh, and it's a three phase motor. All, a lot of these motors as far as I know, uh, all of them are three-phase motors, uh, and you're going to see that later on. We're going to explain that what that means. And basically, what it is, it's a uh, it's a rotating magnetic field around uh, the motor uh, rotor itself. So in the old-fashioned uh, motors, everything was different. Uh, it was there was brushes in there, and then it was a lot more complicated mechanically wise, more complicated. Uh, when in brushless motors, the magnetic field rotates around um, the rotor, uh, and it actually makes the rotor turn. So the rotor has to turn with the magnetic field. And there's also a position sensor inside the motor itself that's actually that senses the the position of the rotor, and that way the uh, computer uh, can actuate the uh, the motor accordingly. Oftentimes, as you can see on screen, these uh, the motor faces are are labeled. Um, U, V, and W. Um, also, I've seen A, B, and C, and so on and so forth. But you get the point. It's pretty much uh, it. There are three phases, and they they're all actuated um, uh, in a way that makes the motor turn. And what it is, it, it again the field turn uh, rotates. It turns around the the rotor itself, and it makes the rotor turn at, at the same time. On screen now, you can see the old-fashioned motors, the DC motors, and it's uh, basically there's uh, brushes, the carbon brushes, um, uh, which actually contact these commutators um, that you can see in yellow. Um, they go around the motor itself, and they actually make the motor turn. 
Uh, it's, everything is done uh, mechanically. There is no electronic control whatsoever. As you can see on screen, as the rotor turns, it actually touches on, on different, uh, um, uh, different commutators and it makes the polarity flip you know, inside the, 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 the rotor itself. But it's only um, an effect that happens because the rotor is turning and so the polarity is also flipping inside the actual windings of the motor. This is a basic explanation of how the old-fashioned DC motors used to work. But the idea is the same. Somehow, uh, the, the magnetic field has to rotate to make the rotor turn. If you multiply uh, what you see on screen by a multi-coil uh, commutator system, then you have what, what you know of as uh, modern electric DC motors, uh, brushed DC motors, not brushless, but brushed. And these are basically, even, even the AC ones, you know, they, they work pretty much the same. There's a commutator in there, and this commutator is a major source of problems. It gets dirty, uh, the carbons wear off, and as, as anybody that has ever had a, uh, a, an electric portable gr drill, especially the battery ones, you know, they, uh, they, they get, that's how they break, you know, that's how they, they stop working because of the uh, commutator system, uh, it gets uh, defective. Now, I'll see you on screen, as you can see, enter the modern brushless DC motor uh, commutator systems. And what it is, is a bunch of magnets um, um, around a, a, a shaft, uh, surrounded by a bunch of coils. Uh, the coils are in purple, as you can see on screen, and the magnets uh, uh, with north and south polarity, uh, they're the ones that actually turn. Uh, oftentimes you see the, the, the rotor, uh, you, you can't see the magnets because what they do is they actually magnetize specific parts of the, uh, of the, of the big magnet, and the, their rare, rare, rare earth metal magnets. And so they're magnetized in different polarities and you don't see the actual magnets on some of these motors, but, it, but they're there. They're pretty much, it's a, uh, they're just what you see on screen. Uh, their uh, polarity, north, north and south polarity magnets positioned in a way that they're actually, when energized, the magnetic field uh, makes them turn. And as you can see, the, the, this, this one, uh, this animation here that we did with the red um, a rotor, uh, it, which is actually a magnet, we just color it red so that you can see it better uh, for explanation. And so, as you can see, it turns with the actual um, en energizing of the magnetic field around the the energizing it's a little bit more complex than what you see on screen uh, but it's basically so usually sometimes it's two of them uh, energized at the same time but you get the idea and it's that's why it's a three-phase motor because each phase actually feeds uh, a group of different magnets uh, around the the, uh, the rotor of, of, of the motor and basically this this is the systems uh, the, the system that's being used uh, these days uh, by uh, pretty much everybody that has anything to do with hybrids or electric motors, uh, whether it's uh, uh, Teslas or uh, the Toyota uh, Priuses or the Honda Insights or, or any of the hybrid vehicles uh, uh, being manufactured. Um, we mentioned before the Fiat uh, Electric and uh, there's also the Nissan. So again, you know, this, whichever, you know, the, the principle, it's pretty much the same. You have a computer, you have an inverter system that actually uh, steps up the voltage and it actually makes these things work. Uh, in, this, in cases of, uh, of that, like the Tesla, there's no stepping up the voltage. The battery itself is high voltage. Uh, in the case of the, uh, uh, the Priuses and all that, then there's something else inside. There's also a battery in there, but it's, uh, uh, it's pretty much everything is charged. Uh, from from the actual um, motor itself, uh, which recharges the batteries. In other videos, we're going to go into other details as far as these motors and how they work, how they operate. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we appreciate you tuning into our channel, and pretty much uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed anytime we upload a new automotive tip secret or technology video you will be notified finally 
by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.